Hi guys, I'm Amanda and welcome back to Spilling the Black Tea. Happy Black History Month. The theme of this year's Black History Month is proud to be and something I'm proud to be is me. A couple of years ago, I wouldn't have given you the same answer. I am Scottish. No matter how many times you ask where I'm really from, that won't change. I was literally born here. And I know that might be confusing to some people because I sound like this and I don't sound like I'm from London and I don't sound like I'm from America, but that is my reality. I am black and Scottish. I don't think representation is spoken about enough. Not just representation of black people, I mean representation in general. It doesn't get the credit that it deserves for its importance in our development of self. And as a young black girl in Scotland, I never see myself represented. There wasn't a lot of black British people in movies, on the TV, in magazines. And at that time, there were even less black Scottish people in those spaces. So because there wasn't a lot of representation of black British people, representation largely came from black Americans. That almost set a standard a kind of expectation people had of what I would act like, how I would be in general, and what I would sound like. But why would it be? That's not my experience. I sounded like this when I was younger, just with a bit more of a Fife accent. It makes you feel inferior. Everyone had these expectations of me and I didn't make the cut. I struggled with that a lot. It's a kind of imposter syndrome that I can't even really explain because I wasn't trying to be anything or anyone else. I was just trying to be me. It might sound minor that I never seen girls that look like me in the media, but I internalized that. It wasn't black women who graced the cover of magazines or who got the guy at the end of the rom-com. When you grow up with nothing but Eurocentric representation in models, TV stars, actresses, it's hard not to compare yourself. Then you start to think, why are they chosen and not people that look like me? Am I too dark? Are my lips too big? Is there something wrong with my skin colour? It's hard to be confident in yourself when you always feel like the odd one out. When you look different to everyone in your school. When your first experience of racism is someone calling you poo face in primary one. And when everyone has these expectations of what you should look and sound like and because you don't meet that you feel like you're not good enough. But my biggest realisation was that I had always been enough and that being black isn't a negative, even when people in society are telling you that it is. There are no rules or guidelines for being black. I love who I am and I'm proud of who I am. Whilst my skin colour doesn't define me, it's one of the things that I love the most about myself. Representation is getting better. Whilst we're maybe not quite there yet, we're headed in the right direction and that's all that matters. I've seen way more black Scottish people in recent years than I ever did growing up. Finding that correct representation has taught me that it's not necessarily a bad thing to be different. Everyone deserves to feel comfortable in their own skin and proud of who they are.